Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I get in the video, I just want to thank you for watching. Please leave a like on my video, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe to my channel. So I want to talk about what to expect on E-Day, Extraction Day. So one thing that might vary between dentist practices is when you have the molds done for your dentures. Some are done day of, some are done days or weeks before. Mine were done all on the same day. I got to my dentist first thing in the morning. They did the molds and started making the dentures. I came back in the afternoon and had my teeth extracted and got my dentures right then. So it was all done in one day, but some places are different. Some you have to have them made beforehand. So on extraction day, my nerves were through the roof, not knowing the so many what ifs. Uh, what is extraction is going to feel like? How will recovery be? How will my dentures look? Will I be able to eat okay? The nerves were insane and it made me terrified basically. It, I was really f freaking out, not sure what was going to happen. And so that's really going to be the worst part of it. Really, in my opinion, that was the worst of the whole thing. So there's a couple different ways they can do the extractions. One is they sedate you, you're asleep, you don't know or remember anything that happened. You wake up with dentures in your mouth. That of course is the best and the easiest option, but not everyone does that and my dentist doesn't do that. So some dentists will they do like laughing gas. My dentist gave like a pill similar to laughing gas but more effective. It basically made me feel a little drunk. I was aware of everything, but I was more relaxed. And the last option for extractions is not doing anything. They don't give you anything to relax you, anything for knocking you out. They just basically numb you and pull them. So that would be your worst case scenario. If your dentist doesn't offer anything, I would mention, hey, I've heard people get a pill to help relax them. So is there something like that you can prescribe for me? That's what I would recommend. Basically, like any tooth, if you've had any pulled before, the numbing shots are the worst. So they put a little gel on your gums where the first shot's gonna go. And after it sits there for a minute or two, they stab you with the needle and put the numbing liquid in your gums. It's a pretty painful shot. And what my dentist did is did that first one let it sit for a second and that started numbing the surrounding areas and then just kept adding more and more shots around my entire mouth so after the first or second shot you don't feel them anymore if you're awake once your mouth is completely numb your dentist will start doing the extractions some they might have to do a little cutting on your gums most of them they just grab your teeth with some pliers and start working them out. Teeth in the back usually have longer roots, so there'll be a little more work on it, but it's just a little pressure. It's really not painful. They grab the tooth with these pliers and just slowly wiggle back and forth. You might hear some popping, uh, and sometimes that's the pliers slipping off of the teeth. Sometimes it's teeth breaking, but it's kind of cringing if you don't like those type of noises but it's not that bad, you don't feel anything, and they slowly remove all your teeth. My dentist did the top first, and then when he finished the top, he then started sewing any holes and incisions closed. Once the top was finished, he then started working on the bottom. They did the bottom, sewed it all up like the top, and they were done. So one thing I forgot to put in the video, and I just want to add this here, is how long your extractions take. Mine for 24 teeth extracted took about an hour and a half. Of course, that will vary depending on if you have sedation, how many teeth are pulled, how bad your teeth are, but expect to be there for at least an hour. So once they were finished with the extractions, they sent me on my way. They had some gauze in my mouth to help uh, catch the blood for the first three, four hours, the bleeding, was pretty consistent and then it slowly died off from there once you get home you're still gonna be pretty numb for the first couple hours you will start to ice your face usually 15 minutes on 15 minutes off so I would rotate 15 minutes on this side 15 on the other have multiple ice packs around so it's a constant nice cold ice pack on your face 
And then what my big recommendation is to rotate the pain medicines. So most likely they'll give you a prescription for pain medicines, whether it's Percocet or whatever. When you, they give you that, you take it every four to six hours. How I was doing it, if I took the Percocet at noon, I would take ibuprofen two hours later. And that way I was having some type of pain medicines in my system and keeping up on everything so I'd be more comfortable. And that also helps with the swelling with the ibuprofen. But Percocet at noon, ibuprofen at two, Percocet at four, ibuprofen at six. Just keep rotating that. And then that first night or two, I would set alarms in the middle of the night to wake up to take my main pain pill. I wouldn't wake up to take the ibuprofen. I would just wake up to take that pain pill. That way you stay comfortable because if you don't take any pain medicines through the night, you could wake up pretty uncomfortable and in a lot of pain. Of course, for that first few days, week, depending on how the healing goes, you're on a soft liquid style diet. So putting applesauce, yogurt, mashed potatoes, those type of things that you don't have to chew. You don't want to try to chew too soon. It's going to be painful and you could restrict the healing on your gums. You don't want to put any pressure on your gums and your dentures. Besides eating a soft liquid style diet, you won't be able to drink out of a straw and you'll just be kind of groggy that day. With a pill to make me relax later in the afternoon, I was kind of out of it. I, I remember things, but there's things I don't remember. So like I said, it kind of makes you feel like you're drunk. You, you remember things, but not everything, which is okay with me because when you're in pain and you're kind of recovering, uh, it's better not to remember everything. But that night when I slept, I slept fairly decent, it wasn't too bad. I, like I said, I set my alarm waking up to take the pain medicines. I did have some slight bleeding still and the blood would be on my pillow. So you might want to have an extra pillowcase on there to catch any blood and otherwise things went okay. So that's what you can expect on extraction day. Overall, usually your nerves are the biggest thing. And after everything said and done, when I look back, the nerves were the worst. It was uncomfortable, it was painful, but the nerves made it 10 times worse. So if you go into it with a positive mind, positive attitude, and remember, it's gonna be a really uncomfortable and painful experience, but it's only a short time and it's gonna get rid of your pain, teeth issue, whatever reason you're getting dentures, and then you will get to have a better, happy, healthy smile. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them below. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you for watching. You guys have a good day.